Today we're going to explore how to annotate or draw on the screen when you're in the Zoom app. So first off, you're in Zoom. To start, we want to go to screen share. Then we're going to pick the screen that we want to share. So let's share this one. Okay, notice you'll be a floating talking head over in the side, which you can move anywhere you want. Okay, so what we can do here is go up to the top of our toolbar and click annotate. And that's going to give us a whole bunch of options. One of our first options is text. Basically, you click text and you click on your screen and you can start typing. This is going to be a multiplication problem. Here's the problem, though. I don't want this text there. I click there, but I don't want it. So if we go over here to the select tool, you can then select and grab anything that you have put on here yourself and you can move it to a new section. So let's move it over here. Okay. Next, we want to be able to draw on our screen. You know what? We teach our kids to line up our multiplication problems. So I'm going to take this over here using the draw tool and I'm going to write on here 48. There we go. It doesn't look great, but it's there. Okay. We also want to draw a line underneath it, right? So let's do that. So we're going to grab the line tool. If you hold shift, it will allow you to draw a straight line as you are drawing your lines. There we go. Okay. There's also a cool tool called the stamp tool. There's not a lot of options, but they are here. I'm going to grab the X one. And if you just click it, it will just stamp it right in that one spot. Okay. Um, I do want to be able to move around here um, and, and move down on the uh, screen here so if you go oh, I can't do that well to do that you click on the mouse and now we can move around your screen just like normal here okay so let's scroll down to here now all this stuff is in the way so what we want to do is clear everything off of it so we can start uh, drawing on a new screen so if you come up here to clear clear all drawings now your screen is ready to go Another tool that you can use here, which is very helpful, is the highlight tool. So this one is kind of like your highlight. You click and you drag over it, and it highlights the area that you just drew. Another thing I like to do is change the color of things. So let's go over to format here. I'm going to choose red, and now everything I do on here is going to be that new color. Okay, so let's go over here and kind of emphasize a few things. We want to solve for this. So you grab your circle tool, empty circle tool, draw your circle, and now it's that new color instead of that blue over here. You can also do other shapes as well, like let's say an arrow here. Let's say I want to draw an arrow, but oh no, you screwed up. There's two things you can do. One is the undo, and another one is your eraser tool, which you can come in and erase over things, and it'll erase those I'm going to emphasize this, I'm going to emphasize that, and then we can say we're going to use these two numbers to solve for this question mark. The last tool I want to show you here is an empty box. So we can also grab here, empty box, draw one out, and say let's solve within this space. And you can give yourself a space. To recap, we've opened our Zoom, we've shared our screen, and we use lots of tools to be able to draw and annotate on our screen for our students. Now you have another tool that you can use to make content for your students. Have fun.